Hello my fellow riders and welcome back to Riding Reviews. Today we are going to be looking at the Yamazaki range and what the difference between them are. So thank you for coming back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at the Yamazaki 50cc geared motorbike range. Uh, I will be going through what the difference is between the different models, prices and what you can expect. So I haven't uploaded any videos for the last three weeks um, and this is because of I had COVID and yeah isolation I wasn't allowed to come out of my room so I didn't give it to the rest of my family but yeah all my camera gear was here so I couldn't do anything at home and I didn't have access to my editing computer anyway but we're not here to talk about that today we're here to talk about the Yamazaki 50cc range so firstly we have the Yamazaki F60 the Yamazaki F30 the Yamazaki F50 and finally we have the Yamazaki YM50 RE. So the Yamazaki F66 comes in at £1,599 plus £100 on the road. This one comes with uh, bold indicators, a digital dash and it will tell you what gear you're in It'll tell you the time and it will tell you uh, engine management light indicators, high beam, low beam. It does come with the twisted front spokes, a disc on the back and a disc, a disc on the back and a disc on the front. The Yamazaki F66, the F30 and the F50 all come with the same engine, fuel injection system and ECU. Um, all of them are slightly different but power output you're looking about the same. The Yamazaki YM50 RE has more torque. They are all restricted on the flat to do about 45 miles an hour. It has a Zongsheng engine, all of them do. Piggyback rear shocks on this one. It does have a kickstart, but remember, if your bike has no power at all, so if it hasn't got enough power to light up the dash, you still can't kick start the bike because it won't prime the tank. You will be able to jump it still, but if you uh, ride your bike uh, at least once a week for more than four miles, you should never have really have a problem with that. Euro 5, Euro 5 specifications states that all 50ccs now have to be um, fuel injected, so all of these are. You have the, uh, every, everything is quite nicely built on this. But yeah, steel exhaust system, which is slightly different to the other two. Everything is pretty well put together and we quite like this. There isn't anything else that you can get for this sort of price other than the other Yamazakis. The Yamazaki F30. Now this one is the cheapest one out of a lot of £1,499 plus £100 on the road. LED indicators front and back, LED running lights, standard uh, wheels on this one and they are both 17 mil, 17 inch sorry. So the gear pattern on this is one down three up and the neutral is in between first and second gear. It does come with a mile per hour speedo. On this the miles per hour is in red, the kilometers an hour are in white. The kilometers are a little bit more pronounced but there you go it will tell you what gear you're in it will tell you how much fuel you've got and it will tell you how much how many revs you've got so this one comes with a steel exhaust system with a plastic cover standard shocks on on it it comes with the same engine as all of them and yes this is the cheapest one out of all of them all of them we currently have this one which is the F30 and the F66 still in stock. The F50 and the F, uh, the F50 and the Yamazaki YM50 are going to be coming in probably November. They're due October, but probably going to come in November. So moving on. So the next one on the list is the Yamazaki F50. Now we've been doing this bike for about 
two to three years now. So it's starting to get a bit of a name for itself. Same thing, uh, running gear, i.e. engine fuel injection system, is the same as the F30 and the F66. H435 bulb on the front, and LED running lights, LED indicators, LED rear light. It does come with a digital dash. Now, last, not last shipment, the shipment before, um, they were all in uh, kilometers per hour. This year, they are all in miles per hour. And you can set them, you can set the time and stuff like that. We did say, we did have a little bit of a moan to the Yamazaki factory about this, so they remedied the issues. This would be a good commuter bike. Also, the Yamazaki F30 would be a good commuter bike because that one can have a back rack. Power-wise, they are a 50cc restricted motorbike. They're supposed to have an average speed of 30-ish miles an hour on the flat. You will get more speed going downhill and it will slow down going up. So do take this into consideration when you're buying these bikes because if you live in a really hilly area with gradients is higher than um, 15, 15%, you're going to struggle with any 50cc motorbike and you should probably look into electric. But anyway, back to this bike. Has a trellis frame. This one would be uh, a naked sports 50cc. But there you go. Price-wise, you are looking at £1,599 plus £100 on the road. Delivery charges, depending on where you are in the UK, you should be looking around £100. And insurance, I would say £350 to £500, but because of COVID, I think this has probably gone up. So you should be looking at more five to £700, I would say. Best thing to do would be to ring up the company um, that you want to insure with instead of doing it online. And don't use comparison sites because you will be charged a lot. So the last Yamazaki in the range is the flagship of Yamazaki. This is the Yamazaki YM50RE. This comes in three different colours. The blue and white and the red and black are both £1,999 plus £100 on the road. If you go for the limited edition uh, Yamazaki YM50 Repsol edition, you will be paying £100 more. So it's £2,100 plus £100 on the road. Comes with LED headlights, LED indicators, LED rear lights, LED rear indicators, an analog rev counter, a digital speedo, and this will tell you what gear you're in, what the time is, and how far you've been. The blue and white and the black and red comes with this exhaust, and the Repsol version now comes with the twin silencer. This one is slightly different to the other three in the way that it's restricted and slightly different in the way that it produces a power. You should be getting a little bit more power from this bike restricted compared to the other ones. Now, last shipment, Euro 4, um, Euro 4 shipment, they had a little bit of an issue. Not really an issue, just a little bit of a, an off-putting thing. Whereas the choke sometimes wouldn't engage fully and you'd have a little bit of an issue starting it. And also the restriction on that one was a little bit harsh. So in third gear, you would have a restriction at 7,000 RPM, which worked out to be about 22 miles an hour. And in fourth gear would be also 7,000 RPM, which would be somewhere in the 30 mile an hour mark. So the issue is with that one is... Um, when you were going up a hill and you were in fourth gear, you would slow down to, say, 26, 27 miles an hour. Um, as soon as you drop it down to the third gear, it would instantly go down to 22 miles an hour, and then you would have to drop it to second gear. So that one, that was a little bit of a, a funny thing on it. That was a little bit of a funny thing on these. But this has now changed. So the restriction in third and fourth gear isn't as uh, abrupt as it was before, which means that you can get, I think it's 27 miles an hour in third gear and about 33, 34 in fourth. 
It doesn't sound like a lot, but it makes a big difference when you're going up and down hills. Also, it hasn't got a hard top end restriction. So on the flat, it'll do 34 miles an hour. But if you are going down a hill, it will go considerably more. These can be de-restricted, whereas the other three at the minute cannot. And if you want this de-restricting, you would have to um, buy an ECU off of Cheap Bikes for Us for untold amount at the minute. Um, they would then remap it, send it back to you, and you would get half your money back at the end. And then you would have no restriction on this at all, and it should do somewhere in the region of 42 to 45 miles an hour, maybe a little bit more when the bike is fully run in. Also, with any new vehicle, they are going to be slower when you get them um, compared to once you've done a couple of thousand miles. So once you've done a couple of thousand miles, they will speed up a bit. Not massively, they are 50 cc's. You're only going to ever get a finite amount of power out of one of these bikes. So there you go. So yes, this is the Yamazaki range. So the F60 is £1,599 plus £100 on the road. The F30 is £1,499 plus £100 on the road. The F50 is £1,599 plus £100 on the road. And the Yamazaki YM50 RE is £2,000 pounds plus 100 pounds on the road or the Repsol version is 2100 pounds plus 100 pounds on the road insurance wise you should be looking at about 500 to 700 pounds for whichever the first year's insurance uh, first year's tax will come with the bikes the second year's tax will be about 21 pounds uh, you do not have to have an MOT for three years because it is they are new vehicles they are euro 5 specification and each of them should do around 100 to 120 miles to the gallon so it is very much a cheap runaround if you're looking at going around your town village whatever it is good it is probably a good idea if you're looking for a longer range vehicle then you probably they will do it but they are a50 so so thank you for watching my video hope you have learned something and i hope you could take away from this all the information that you need if you do have anything to say on these bikes please comment below and i will do my very best to answer any and all questions you ask anything sensible i will um, answer anything that is derogatory or uh, swearing or racist or anything like that would just get deleted and I, I won't entertain any of that so anyway thank you for watching my video if you've liked it hit that thumbs up if you didn't comment below and tell me how I can make my videos better in the future remember I have a video library of about 300 different videos on many many different motorbike related topics so go onto my channel and have a look see um, if there's anything on there that can help you remember if you want to support my channel there is a join um, join button at the bottom of this video uh, you will either have a 3.99 or a 6.99 um, monthly fee and then you will get badges discount codes and direct line of communication to me and you will be supporting your favorite motorbike channel But as always, ride safe.